The 2010 NCAA Division I baseball tournament began on Friday, June 4, 2010 as part of the 2010 NCAA Division I baseball season. The 64-team double elimination tournament concluded with the 2010 College World Series in Omaha, Nebraska. This was the final year at Johnny Rosenblatt Stadium, the host venue since 1950. Topic Bids Topic Automatic Bids Conference champions from thirty Division I conferences earned automatic bids to regionals. The remaining thirty four spots were awarded to schools as at large invitees. Topic Bids by Conference Topic National Seeds Bold indicates CWS participant Arizona State Texas Florida Coastal Carolina Virginia UCLA Louisville Georgia Tech Topic Regionals and Super Regionals Bold indicates winner asterisk indicates extra innings Topic Tempe Super Regional Topic Clemson Super Regional Hosted by Clemson at Doug Kingsmore Stadium Topic Charlottesville Super Regional Topic Myrtle Beach Super Regional Note, because Vrooman Field at Charles Watson Stadium was inadequate for NCAA postseason play, Coastal Carolina hosted games were played at BB&T Coastal Field. Topic Austin Super Regional Topic Tallahassee Super Regional Hosted by Florida State at Dick Hauser Stadium Topic Los Angeles Super Regional Topic Gainesville Super Regional Topic College World Series Topic Participants Topic Bracket The CWS uses two four-team brackets with double elimination format, teams play games until they accumulate two losses and no team may play a team from the other bracket. The winners of the two four-team brackets play a best of three series for the championship. Asterisk denotes extra innings. Topic: <laughs> Championship series. Topic Game One Topic Game Two Topic All Tournament Team
The following players were members of the All Tournament team. Topic: <laughs> Final standings. Seeds listed below indicate national seeds only. Hash denotes national seed. Topic: <laughs> Record by conference. The columns are F, Senior, WS, NS, CS, and NC respectively stand for the regional finals, super regionals, college world series, national semi-finals, championship series, and national champion. Topic: Tournament notes. Topic Round One Fifteen of sixteen number one seeds won their first round games, with Cal State Fullerton being the only number one seed to lose three to one to number four Minnesota. Eight number three seeds half the field won their first round games in upsets. Topic Round Two 13 of 16 number 1 seeds won their first two games. The others were number 4 Minnesota, number 2 Clemson and number 2 College of Charleston. Two number 2 seeds were eliminated in two games, number 2 California and no. 2 Stanford. Topic: <laughs> Regional Finals. 13 number 1 seeds and 3 number 2 seeds advanced to the super regional. No number 3 or number 4 seeds advanced. Georgia Tech, no. 8 and Louisville, no. 7 were the only national seeds to not advance to the super regional. Topic: <laughs> Super Regionals. TCU qualified for its first ever College World Series by beating Texas. Only three of eight national seeds qualified for the College World Series. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> College World Series. NCBWA National College Baseball Writers Association named TCU head coach Jim Schlossnagel the 2010 National Coach of the Year. Collegiate Baseball and Baseball America named South Carolina head coach Ray Tanner the 2010 National Coach of the Year. UCLA head coach John Savage was named the National Coach of the Year by College Baseball Insider. South Carolina received the opening ceremonies award for highest team GPA 3.12 of the eight schools that made it to Omaha. Only one team from the 2009 CWS, Arizona State, returned for 2010. This was the 18th consecutive year that the SEC has fielded at least one team in the College World Series. South Carolina pitcher Matt Price first team and first baseman Christian Walker second team were named freshman All-Americans by Baseball America. UCLA center fielder Bo Amaral, who led the Bruins with a .354 batting average in 64 games, was named a second team freshman All-America selection by Baseball America. UCLA pitchers Trevor Bauer and Garrett Cole were named to the 2010 College All-America team, second team and third team respectively by Baseball America. Topic: <laughs> First and second rounds. TCU played in its first College World Series in school history. Florida was the first team eliminated after its 8–5 loss to in-state rival Florida State. 
Arizona State was eliminated after two games and became the first number one overall seed team to go 0–2 in the CWS under the current 64-team format. Florida State had a season-high five errors in its second loss to TCU. In the first meeting between South Carolina and Oklahoma, the game was scheduled to start at 2 p.m., but due to multiple weather delays the game did not end until after 11 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Semi-finals None of the four semifinalists, UCLA, TCU, South Carolina and Clemson, had won a previous CWS title. This CWS was the first since 2005 to feature an in-state rivalry in the Final Four with the meeting of South Carolina and Clemson. Trevor Bauer, with 13 strikeouts on June 26, led the nation with 165 strikeouts. UCLA led all schools with 700 strikeouts. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Finals. UCLA played for its first ever national championship in baseball South Carolina had played in three previous championship games, 1975, 1977 and 2002. More than 300,000 fans attended the men's CWS for the fourth consecutive year, and the total attendance of 330,922 ranks second all-time. South Carolina won its first NCAA team national championship in any men's sport. UCLA's runner-up finish was the best in program history. Final game was the first championship to be decided in extra innings since 1970, and fifth all-time. Whit Merrifield's 11th inning RBI single was the first walk-off to decide a championship since 2000. South Carolina became only the third school to win a CWS title after losing their opening game since the two-bracket format was adopted. South Carolina set a CWS record with six straight wins after losing their first game, and became only the third school ever to record six victories in a CWS. The CWS ended June 29, the latest ending date for the tournament. That record was broken in 2016. <laughs> 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 <laugh